Welcome back. Let me quickly handle the address tab while I work in the background. I think it's quite essential that I tell you what I consider to be the extra mile, you know, going the extra mile. Some clients may tell you that. See, in the reviews tab, we could have spent a bit more time creating various properties for that component, you know, turning the title on or off, adding a boolean, adding a variant for those cases where there's only a title but no body text, you know, things of that nature. Now, I don't think that's necessarily going the extra mile, not in the sense that clients would appreciate it, you know. See, it's one thing for you to work hard, and the reward is that in the future, you won't have to work as hard, right? So your training is difficult, but then the actual battle isn't all that hard. So that's what we could have done through properties and variants and whatnot, right? But um, it's a whole nother thing to create that credit card design, for example, or to come up with some lovely copy, some lovely text inside the project. Now, those are the things that the client would appreciate. So please make sure that you don't mix up those two things. So I'm all for going all out, not being called lazy. But you always have to keep in mind this. Who does it help? Does it help my ego? Does it help me practice my skills? Does it help the developer? Or does it help the client? Because if you're at a learning point where you feel like you need all the practice that you can get, then sure, go create all the variants, make it flexible, make it responsive, whatever, you know, do it all. But um, the disappointment comes when you expect the client to appreciate all those variants and, you know, responsiveness and whatnot, when in fact he has no idea. Even if you explain it in detail, he's still not gonna care, chances are. So that's how things are, you know, the client has other things to take care of. As you're working through this course, I hope you realize, I hope you at least begin to realize why I was telling you this stuff at the beginning, right? Nobody cares how hard you've worked inside Figma. You could have created your own typeface from scratch, letter by letter, character by character. Nobody really cares. What they care about is the overall presentation and that's it. Your effort doesn't justify your value, nor your reward. The true value that you can bring as a designer comes from loads of other things. Now, starting off with the basic ones, you know, being able to communicate effectively both with the client and with the development team, being punctual, delivering everything on time. And, you know, after all the basics, your true value as a designer, as an app designer, comes from your experience in being able to streamline the app, in making it more efficient. Things like hierarchy in the first screen, where there are loads of actions, so you have to have experience and know how to structure it. Now, to put it simply, if you, by moving a button and styling another one differently, making it a ghost button, if that raises conversion rates by 10%, that's absolutely huge. That's massive. 10% day in, day out, weeks and months on end. That's what's really going to help the business grow. But um, the skill itself, moving a button or doing a ghost button, moving a button at the bottom of the screen, that's nothing. The skill isn't a valuable thing. So I hope that you realize that the most value that you can bring to the client doesn't necessarily revolve around fancy things in Figma, variants, properties and components and whatnot. In my experience, I've managed to grow my own e-commerce store from $20,000 per month to $50,000 per month just to do basic design changes. Things like moving the title up, reducing gaps, changing the size of thumbnails. These are extremely basic. You could watch a four-hour course on Photoshop and you could still probably achieve those things. So from a technical standpoint, they're not difficult. The techniques themselves aren't the value. It's you having the experience to suggest those changes. It's you knowing that, hey, if we always have a button at the bottom of the screen, this helps the user and in turn, it generates more revenue, more sales. Or by saying, hey, by making the button gray and disabled and making it light up when all the fields have been filled in, that improves the checkout experience and that brings more sales. So that's what you should bring to the table. Not super crazy prototypes or super flexible layouts. Those can help. I'm not saying they don't. But more often than not, they'll help you. 
not the client. So then you may ask, Chris, how do I get this experience? You get it by working, by doing as many projects as possible. There are quite a few websites like this one here that you can really use. But um, if you really want to get twenty, thirty thousand dollar projects for you, you need to start with five hundred and one thousand dollar ones, and then check the stats, check the analytics. See, after you deliver this project, stay in touch with the client, ask him to see his analytics, then suggest changes, design them, have his developers implement them, and then check the design, you know, in a couple of weeks. For example, on the home screen, we have a, what, 360 pixel tall photo, right? Just as a random example, try a 300 pixel one, right? So make it smaller, then check the conversion rates. If it's from 2% to 2.4%, that's incredible, right? And then you rinse and repeat until the business grows. And all those little things that you've tested, you have to remember them. And then when you get your next project, all those tricks can help you earn a lot more. So that's the value you can bring. It's not about advanced techniques in Figma. It's about what you know. Thank you and good luck.